It's time for Ask Our Doctors. And still with us to help out is our friend, Dr. Judy. So Dr. Judy, a viewer wrote into our social media and quote, hi doctors, I find myself binge watching my favorite shows, not only in my free time, but also when I shouldn't be watching at all. Anytime I leave the house, I just can't wait to get back home to watch more. Can binging do more bad than good? You know, great question. And guess what, Dr. Judy, all of us at times are guilty of a little binging, but is she correct in being concerned? Yeah, she is. And I think this is a very relatable topic because like you said, all of us are binge watching something or there's something that we're doing a little bit more of, a little bit more excess. And you know, what happens is the brain dopamine centers are actually spiked when you binge watch. And so it actually is akin to an addiction because it is that sort of very unhealthy, unnatural, large doses of dopamine that get pumped into your brain. And at first it causes you all kinds of happiness and, and positive emotions. But over time, you find that you do all other kinds of behaviors that are really not helpful, like hiding it from people, being ashamed, um, feeling bad. And then that actually just drives you to binge watch more because then you're trying to look for that dopamine kick again. Again. And there's actually a recent study published in the journal Frontiers in Psychiatry that explains some factors that might drive binge watching behavior specifically. So this study found that impulsivity and motivation to escape are among the most significant factors that drive this behavior. And that lack of impulse control and just wanting to be entertained, especially when you're bored, I think these are all important factors that people can look at themselves and say, is this happening in my life? But to answer your question, Dr. O, binge watching does lead to a lot of issues down the line. There are studies that show that it leads to cognitive decline, so you're less able to actually solve problems, emotionally regulate, and it also causes a cascade of other unhealthy eating habits, antisocial behavior, even poor work and academic performance, among all other kinds of problems, including issues in your relationships. I think within reason, it's okay. It is entertain yeah. entertaining. You get enjoyment. You get that dopamine release. But if it's like constant and too much, it's problematic. So from a psychological standpoint, who who's more prone to, to really get sucked into binging? Basically, anybody who has any kind of stress in their life because binge watching is like an escapist coping well, strategy. It is. That's, it's great that's medicine. Everybody. Yeah, exactly. So it's like anything we do to try to escape the problems that we have in the real world. And to your point, all of these types of escapist strategies are okay and even healthy to a certain extent, as long as you cut it off at that time. But most people don't, and that's when it becomes unhealthy. And so it's important to kind of find that healthy line where you say, okay, I needed to escape from my problems for an hour or two, but now it's time to tend to my responsibilities, or now it's time to pick up that routine and do the things that I need to do, because that also makes you feel good about yourself when you are able to tend to your life and to be able to live your life effectively. Any other coping mechanisms you can suggest quickly? Absolutely. So instead of thinking about a to-do list, make a joy list, a list of things that bring you joy. Maybe it's a hobby or a great ritual like making coffee or tea in the morning that if you took more time with it and you were mindful, you would enjoy it more. So take the time to come up with a joy list and make sure you do a couple of those things every day. And I also think that it's really important to make sure that you nourish the fact that your brain loves routines. So have routines for the morning, have routines for your bedtime, you know, do things that really feel structured because your brain likes that. So if you're going to start with the binge watching, don't just say, well, let's just see however many episodes I want to watch, you know, actually set that timer for yourself, set that routine and say, I will watch two hours max, right? Actually schedule it into your calendar, put it in your calendar if you have to. All of those things are actually going to help you to get the most enjoyment out of it without it becoming an unhealthy problem. Thank you so much for being here with us. As always, great information. Thank you so much, Dr. O. So good to be with you.